This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you know, I'm thinking, see, so man, last night data, but I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. So you better give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, M U L N is, in my opinion, doing well, even with all the negativity surrounding Lawrence Hodge. M U L N is in a great position. They sold the M U L N Go. They sold about 30 of those vehicles. So that's additional revenue for quarter three. Remember, their first revenue all time was in quarter two. So we're, it's look like we're getting revenue every single quarter now. Also, it seems like <laughs> David took that reverse split off the table, which, if that is true, that would be great news as far as I'm concerned. And also, we're MULN been on a threshold list for I think about 44 to 45 days. I lost count already. But we all know the threshold list means absolutely nothing because we don't have any regulatory agencies in place in the United States that actually enforce the rules. So a company could keep shorting and naked shorting and naked shorting any stock they want with no consequences because there is no SEC. There is no FINRA. There is no CFTC. There are no regulatory agencies in the United States that enforce the rules. They also, Bollinger also hired the general manager, the, gen, the VP from General Motors. So that's other good news to me. The bottom line is this. MULN is in a great position. All I see is positive news coming out, positive catalyst. And if they keep the production up, if they keep the deliveries up, or if they make those deliveries next month, if they make those deliveries next month, and every quarter we keep seeing revenue, and especially if they do that buyback, if they do that buyback and get MULN over $1, I think MULN can go to the moon. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think David taking the stock the stock reverse split off the table. Do you think that's great news for MULN? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.